happening, everybody? It is a special Saturday edition of Selling Past Your Expiration Date, being thrifty over 50. I'm your one host, Jay. I'm Peg. Hi, everybody. How's what it going, is going on? I, I, yeah. I'm looking at the chat. I see some of you are places where it's snowy and cold. Luckily, and I would, we're just cloudy here. Not, not No snow today. <laughs> yeah, and I saw Marianne say that it's a beautiful day in Southern California, but we know that's not going to last because I'm coming to Southern California. <clears throat> and on Monday, I'm staying in Malibu. On Monday, the low is 38 degrees oh, in Malibu. No. On Monday, I'll be in Miami Beach where it's yeah. sunny 80. <laughs> so no no shirts, no sleeveless shirts. I actually got a pack of winter hats, especially for that night, because when you don't have hair, your head tends to get cold. Ah, well, mom's had one of her crazy days. Uh, some of you know how bad my schedule is. This morning, I started out by going to Jazzercise because my niece is turning 40. And so we had a big party for her there. Then I had to go get my nails done. And now we're doing the show. And tonight, Dad and I are going to the Luau at Tiki Underground. And then Monday morning at 3 a.m., I'll be up bright and early to catch my flight to uh, to Miami Beach. <laughs> so, but that's okay. It'll be worth it. So, yeah, I'm the same way. We're going to talk about my upcoming class in a minute. But I've been packing the supplies for the wow. classroom class. Uh -huh. And I haven't packed my personal stuff yet. The, the truck is gassed and washed, but it's not vacuums. I got to do that. And I got a concert tonight. And I got to be on the road at 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. So why do and, we do and, this? And, to and when, I, when I'm in L.A., it never slows down. So Sunday we start with some sourcing. And then I have a client who's giving me 7,000 records to sell. Oh, so my. I got to pick up my first load of that. And then uh, my friend Kim, she has a client that's given her a bunch of stuff to sell. So we're actually moving both of our stuff into a storage unit. Oh, and, cool. Uh, and then uh, and so we're doing some some of that on Monday and more sourcing. Then a class on Tuesday, a speech Tuesday night, class on Wednesday, and then I'm coming home on Thursday. So oh, I know it never ends, does it, honey? It never ends. But I will be basking in the sunshine. <laughs> yeah, I'll be freezing in Malibu. What the hell? <laughs> this is an all girl trip this time. There's nine of us going, and uh, uh, we, we should have some fun. I, I and mommy will really enjoy it because I'll be with my two sisters, which uh, I can't remember the last time the three of us were on a vacation together. Probably when we were kids. You know, so uh, so it'll, it'll be special for mom to be with my sisters. No, uh, well, are we, all, well, are we all together in Hawaii? Patty wasn't there any of the times, but, but the times Patty was, whose he wasn't. Yeah, I don't think it's it. I don't think, no, I don't think we've all been there huh. together. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to put all the you know, I know all the vacations together in my head look all the same, so yeah. I'm trying to think of you know, huh. then, you well. Know, You'll appreciate this. I, I went to uh, Chardon High School's basketball game last night to us. Uh, one of my very dear friends, uh, grandson is playing and dad and I were walking and I said, well, the last time I came to a basketball game here was to watch my brother play high school basketball. So think about how long that is, honey. You didn't come and to watch me play in the intramural leagues? What yeah, the hell, ma? Dad was famous for yelling out as during the game. My brother's name is, it was Nini, Nino, you know, nickname for Anthony. And he would yell out loud as can be as he's dribbling the ball. Hey, me. <laughs> you know, I, I said, oh, but he wants to kill you. <laughs> I'm uh, sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, let's get right into our topic here. Yes, uh, yeah, because mom needs help on this one. I'll tell you. So we're talking about the seller hub growth tab and what eBay does from time to time. And it and if it's if it's a regular thing, I don't pay attention to it. So I don't know if it's every week or every other week, once a month. I have no idea. But <clears throat> eBay will tell you when you have some errors in your listings or your listings are underperforming based on other sellers selling uh, the products that you, you have for sale. So um, it is easy to fix your listings uh, if you know what you're doing. Right. So today I'm going to show you how to do that. Luckily, I had three that need fixing and about 20 that could uh, be better with a better price, I think. So. OK, good. Uh, this was readily this was really prevalent when we were switching over things. They wanted us to get the active content out of our listings. And so I use this uh, tab to clean up all my listings. And so right now I have a couple things to clean up. So you want right. to go to uh, Seller Hub and there's my Seller I, Hub I, right there. Let yeah. me let me show you what I got last night, Ma. You ready? Oh no, what'd you get? Wanna see what I got? Yay, a negative. Oh no, what happened? And let I'm me tell you, second one this month. That is unlike me. Hmm. So uh item was damaged with several pulls in the fabric material on front of shirt. Now, I didn't see the pulls, obviously, or I would have listed them. Right, right. Uh, never contacted me. 
And, um, you know, I have, I've messaged him. He has not replied. But let's look at my other one because I got two this month. And, man, I was about to drop off all negatives and neutrals, and I got two. Hmm. Uh, disc definitely had scratches. Don't list everything perfect and like new if it is not. Again, I list all my CDs. So I can't even blame that on a on an assistant. Yeah. yeah. Was this one scratched? Could have been. I, I list and sell a lot of CDs, especially at Christmas time. I reached out to him too and said, you know, I'd be happy to take care of this. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's just too bad that they don't contact you before they. Which they don't have to. Like, hey, if you have a bad restaurant experience, you don't have to contact them. You can go right to Yelp and go, "This place stinks." That's true. That's true. And, and the one time I did that, I got yelled at people on Yelp for yell saying a place stunk when it actually stunk. Oh well. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh well. But here, but and and here's why. Uh, uh, see, David set me up perfectly. David Euling, you're not going to panic with those two negatives, Jason. No, I only brought it up because everyone freaks out. It sucks. It sucks. I got two in a month. That is unlike me. Uh, it's a bummer that I've reached out. I have not asked for withdrawal of it because obviously, if it is a pulls in the fabric, if it was scratched, I deserve it. But I was hoping to start a conversation with the customer because maybe it'll lead to that point. But I didn't want to lead with, can you take this off? Because yeah. if they were truly things I overlooked, then yes, they had a negative buyer experience. I'm trying to fix that now. Sure. But uh, if they don't respond, there's not much I can do. I will, um, I will, like I answered the uh, disc, I will answer the shirt. And again, you answer with facts and facts only, no emotion, apologize. Because when I read reviews on Yelp or TripAdvisor, which I read quite often when I travel, I don't care that people got negatives. Every single business. I don't care if you're a five-star Michelin-rated restaurant. Someone had a bad experience. Someone right. did. Yeah, it, ha it's, yeah, it, has, it happens. That's just it what does. It and so it is how the management or the owner handles it. And right. if you respond by sparring with the customer, oh, you know you loved your dinner. Well, <laughs> I don't want to go there because of that. But if I right. see a manager being apologetic that negative doesn't bother me because ain't no business perfect or negative proof. So nope, no biggie. Nope, nothing is perfect in this world. Do so. I believe a conspiracy is not a bit? No. <laughs> Cheryl Hinton is trying to hurry to get home to watch us live. Everybody's I saw that. All right. So let's get out of this. You know, that wasn't part of the show today, but I just wanted to show you. Uh, basically it happens. Okay. Yeah. So no, right good to know. Yeah. Right yep. here at the top, it says growth, and then it says listing improvements. So that's what we're talking about today, listing improvements. Okay. And so it's, on that, right, honey? You yep, open that. Click on that. And so right now, I have 39 underperforming listings based on what eBay has seen in the marketplace. So, for instance, uh, this Plantronics C420 black headband headset. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I just realized now it doesn't say telephone anywhere or phone that should probably be a title my sister my oldest sister did that but they're uh -huh. telling me it's been in my store for a year yeah. and the chance of me selling it is 55 percent less than my competitors so my competitors either have better keywords better shipping price better selling price uh whatever uh, so we'll get to these in a minute but let's pop over to i have three listings right now because of some error they do not qualify for top rated plus. And of course, I want them to qualify for top rated plus. All right, so all you gotta do is click right on the number. That's not readily apparent, but that is a clickable link. So you click on that three. Okay. And it's gonna put all three of those in a editing spreadsheet with a little indication on what's wrong with this. So that little purple uh, uh, italic I mm -hmm. means there's information there. And we need to fix that. Now, it's not bad. Like, if it was red, that means there's a, really a problem with your listing. This is just telling you, you can improve this listing to get better eyes upon it. Okay. So, it says, I have two that need same day or one day handling time. Mm. And one that doesn't have a return policy. So, I can see right here that these two have a three-day handling time. Why? I have no clue. Right. So, I'm going to just click on it and click it up to one business day. Now that has been my normal handling. Uh, I've been talking to my producer, Robin, and my girl Friday, Kim, and uh, about same day handling. And I've never done it, but I, was, I, I got I got the scoop. And so I think on our next show, after you get back from vacation, okay, we will do a show about switching from one day handling to same day handling. Oh, I need to know that. Mommy doesn't know yep. how to do that. Yep. 
Okay, so I'm going to fix these two easily. Boom, okay. boom. So I'm just going to switch them to one business day. So when I click Submit Changes, then these will be fixed. Now, apparently, I don't seem to have a return policy on this one. Yeah. So if you click, if you click the little plus, let me make this a little bit bigger. Okay. Come on. Come on. Maybe I made it too big. All right. All right, so let's click the mouse. So you see there's a little plus right here, so click the plus, and it's telling me offer a minimum 30-day return policy to get top-rated plus benefits, which include 10% final value fee discounts, top-rated plus seal, and a boost in best match. Now, that's the whole point. You do okay. these things to get a boost in best match so you can come up above your competition. So I want to edit my... Your, your, your whole... I want uh, to edit. No, I just want to edit my return policy. So I'm going to oh. check off this one because I only want to edit one thing right now. So I'm going to click on the edit fields and I'm going to click. I'm going to edit my return policy. So <laughs> somehow this one had no returns accepted. That was obviously just a glitch. I've always taken returns. Every assistant I've ever had knows I take returns. So that mm -hmm. was obviously just a glitch, uh, just a mistake. So I'm going to click on returns accepted and I've bumped all my returns to 60 days. Yeah, I've been doing that too. And you know what? I got three returns this week, and before this, I haven't got a return uh, at all this year. So I, I did get three this week. The one, the one was kind of cute and funny. The guy said this was a way different green than I expected. My monitor lies. <laughs> so he's saying his monitor's color wasn't right, but that's yeah. fine. And uh -huh. the other two, I guess I missed a little bit of fading on the sleeve, which uh, it was yeah. a Hawaiian shirt. I still don't see it, but whatever. The customer wants to send it back. They send it back. I don't care. Right. Right. All right, so uh, 60 days, money back, buyer pay, shipping. Uh, do I start charging restocking fee? Nope. And so we're going to save and close. Okay. Okay, so that little uh, purple circle went away. Now let's see what else these say. Okay. Free shipping is required to qualify for fast and free, which increase, which could increase your sales by 11%. Uh, and I'm not doing that, and I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not changing the shipping on either one of these. So they're still okay to go. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to click the little so, checkbox. Yes, ma? Yeah, so so you, you don't want to make those changes. On these correct? two, no. Especially right. the second one. It is yeah. a tiki uh, rum barrel that has been retired by Trader Vicks. Okay. And so, you know, it, it all works out in the end if you do free shipping and build it into the price or if you do a little lesser price and charge for shipping. Mm -hmm. I find when I charge for shipping on my uh, rarer and or bigger tiki stuff, the customers don't seem to mind to pay it. They actually kind of expect it. So I kind of curtail my products to what the marketplace, but I'm always switching it. Sometimes I do this, sometimes I do, I do that. Uh -huh. So this is one of those places in selling on eBay. I'm not consistent. And I'm not right. consistent because I'm always trying something new to see, all right, if these haven't sold for a while at 20 bucks with seven shipping, let's see if they sell at 27 bucks free shipping. So I'll keep moving things around. But that doesn't hurt your top rated seller status, correct? No, it doesn't. Okay. Just want to make sure about that. Nope. All right. So I'm going to click all the, the top checkbox. So all three of these get selected. Mm -hmm. I'm going to click submit changes. Okay. And I'm going to confirm and submit. It takes a, a couple seconds. Now, of course, if you say you had a hundred things to edit, mm -hmm. <laughs> that, that confirming changes would take a smidge longer. We only had three things, so it's no biggie. Okay. And as you can see, we do not have that three to fix anymore. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Now, see, mom didn't know anything about that. <laughs> So yes. that's easy peasy. Now, back okay. when we when eBay was saying, yo, you got to get rid of your, your active content, mine was huge because I wasn't doing it fast enough. And it was like I had hundreds of things that needed to be fixed. And so I finally had my assistant and I go, look, I'll pay you. Go home. Just wa sit on the couch tonight, watch a movie, watch TV, and get all these edited with the active content out. It's silly to waste time. Like, of course, I'm going to pay her to do it. Right. But it's going to waste time during the day when we're working together on listings and shipping. That is definitely an easy job to sit on the couch, watch TV, and then just go through. Because it is kind of mindless. You just got to click, yep, clear it out, yep, 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 and then you keep on going. Which, But when you're doing a few hundred, it does take a while. Okay. Uh, the shorts had a 30-day return policy instead of 60. No, no reason. That must have been just one that, you know, I've been switching to 60 in the last four months. So it might have been an older listing. So. It's one of those things where I don't go backwards. I try, you know, and going forward, everything has 60 days, I, you know. All right, so let's let's just click one of these. Let's analyze, uh, let's, let's do this CD here. 
It's okay. been lifted for a, a little under half a year. And uh, it's a sensational Gregory Isaacs. He's a reggae singer. Mm -hmm. So let's analyze. So I got it for $31.99 plus $2.99 shipping. It is telling me that um, I'm 50% le less likely to sell it before my competitors. So you click on the analyze listing? Is that what you yep. clicked on? Okay. All right. So sold listings, not available. That's telling me this isn't selling. Now, sometimes that's a good thing because what if you have the only one listed? But obviously, there's others that have it. And there's only one person who has it. But what's happening is eBay's telling me there's one out there priced lower than me. Uh huh. And they have it for $22.75, shipping included. Mine's okay. $31.99 plus $2.99. Now, mm -hmm. if it's rare, and this is somewhat rare, but not rare enough that people get super excited over it. If it is a rare commodity that you don't want to alter your price, because this is how the race to the bottom goes. If I come in here now and say, okay, I'm going to go 1999. And then he gets a little indication. He goes, okay, I'm going to go 1799. Right. Now you got to figure out, am I racing to the bottom or am I just correcting my stuff to be in the middle of the pack? Sometimes I will let it play out at the higher price point, knowing that, oh, this, this lower one will get sold before me. But then when a the customer comes, I've got the only one. But I know this Gregory Isaacs isn't a hugely sought after. It is rare, but look, rare does not always equal big money. Got to keep that in mind, too. Right. So I am going to change my price because I just want it to go. You know, there, okay. you know, some CDs are super duper rare and I want to wait for that buyer who wants to give me 200 others. I'm like, that's, you know, I paid a buck. Like if I can get rid of it, let's go. So in this instance, you'll, you're going to go lower than what the other guy is. Yes. Because when I go 19 bucks plus $3 shipping, that's 22 bucks. And that keeps me wow. 75 cents below the other guy. Okay. All right. No, that doesn't always work. Like I'll see Frankie's mug sold where mine are listed. And I'm like, um, mine was on sale for $4 less than the one you just bought. So, you know, some customers don't even research, sure. which is fine. Uh, and then it gives me listing impressions per day, listing page views per day, click through rate, uh, sales conversion rate. Obviously, I have, a z I have a zero for a sales conversion rate. Mm -hmm. um, so listing same category. So they're probably looking at CDs in the reggae category. And uh, so you don't got to get all nerded out. Um, and then they're showing the other listings like that. So they give you all this and it's breaking it down. So here's my ah. current buy now price, $31.99. Theirs is $22.75. I've got $2.99 shipping. They have free shipping. Mine's very good. Theirs is like new. So here's another indicator. I have a worse condition one than theirs. Mm -hmm. So this is where you got to fix it. Okay. We both offer returns. So now I'm going to knock mine down even a little bit further because mine must have some light marks on it. Okay. okay? So I, I've changed my price and I'm going to click update. You have updated your price. Okay. So if I click on view listing, mm -hmm. now it's fifteen ninety nine. See, now I had it. I had it for forty bucks. <laughs> it was wow. on sale. Yeah. So now, right. now I got it down to where it should be based on, uh, based on what's the market is bearing. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So uh, Heather's want to know what the click through rate is. So if someone searches for the CD on eBay, once they click on my item, that is them clicking through to it. And then once they purchase it, I think that is the click through rate because there's the click through rate. And then there's the, what's the other rate? Oh, click through rate is getting there. Sales conversion rate is actually selling it. Okay. So no one has ever clicked on this CD of mine. Like they didn't even stop to look at it. Like they, they might have, so someone has probably searched Sonny Stitt plays CD, but no one has ever, ever clicked on mine. All right. So now when you finished with, you know, with all your changes, how did you get back to where you were? Did you just hit the back arrow or did you, how did you get back? There? Uh, yeah, I think I said the back. Well, here, let, let's change this one. So let's bump this one down a little bit too, but on twelve ninety nine, okay. because right. also when you change prices on your items, it does jazz it up a little bit in the search. Uh, sometimes eBay will send out messages. Hey, you know this thing you've been watching on your watch list? The price just got lowered. You should jump on it. Oh, so that's why I'm seeing the 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 different prices on it. That's how it'll come through when you lower your price. Yeah. Okay, like it, like it's kind of on sale, kind of. Yeah. So here, I'm just I went back to look at my listing, twelve ninety nine. So now I'm just gonna backspace one, two. Okay. And then I'm back to where I was. Okay. All right. All right, so this has been listed for a year. Uh, it is called The World According to Wonder. It's a pretty bitchin' book. I've got it up for 80 bucks. Let's take a look at it. 
Now here, because, and here's cool, here's something different. Because this one has an ISBN. Now those two CDs I had didn't have regular barcodes. So I couldn't use the barcode. Mm -hmm. This one has an ISBN. Now because I plugged it in, they can't find it on the web. So they have, if there was some sold somewhere on the web, eBay would be telling me, hey, this, this is routinely selling for 50 bucks, okay? Um, so there's telling me, all right, so, so here's where one time I'm not gonna change. Now I might change a smidge just to jazz it up. Someone else has this book listed for twenty seven forty three, way below my eighty bucks, free mm -hmm. shipping, in very good condition. So two things: mine's in like new, and they couldn't even be bothered to put a picture in. Yeah, that's pretty poor. <laughs> so that is very poor. Right. How can you list something and not show a picture? Because they're they're going quick using the catalog. So the catalog uh, didn't have this book. Okay. Okay. Um, so way below my price, obviously. Uh, but very good. But man, you came to see a picture. So I'm guessing most customers are like, well, I would pay more for a like new of one. I can see a picture that's in good shape, but you know, 60 bucks might be a tough pill to swallow. So I'm, right. I'm cool with that. So let me, let me bump this down 10 bucks and then I run sales and stuff. Mm -hmm. And so again, it'll get jazzed up and it'll, it'll be refreshed in listings. If someone had this saved, it would definitely be, uh, eBay would be letting them know. Okay, there's a question in the chat. Do you see that one from Kara Cooper, Jace? Uh, why, why is the market comparison percentage based on what you have the most listed of in a particular categories? I, I don't know. You know, I can show you how to fix it and kind of how to read it, but sometimes, sometimes <laughs> I don't know exactly what uh, eBay's um, eBay's thinking is. So, or, or, or what I what they're trying to tell us. Because, you know, one of the things they explained that was going to happen to us at eBay Open still hasn't happened. I expected it by now. We're already planning for the next eBay Open. And so with that, I, I, I'm not sure. And, hey, Robin, I saw that uh, you uh, deleted some stuff. So do me a favor, Robin, just pop into Messenger what was going on there. Thank you, Robin. And that is not Robin, my producer. That is Robin, my lifeguard. I see a bunch of my lifeguards in the chat. So I want to say hi to Christine and to uh, Robin. They're the runs that... Uh, uh, they're the ones that help run my group. So I am happy yeah. that they're in there to say hi. Hi, guys. Hey, everybody. <laughs> All right. So uh, I'm actually going to log out here. So I'm going to put myself on the screen. I'm going to log into mom real quick, and we'll see what hers are saying. Okay. Now, here's a little tip. If you help out somebody, so if you help out a friend, uh, a lover, a mother, an aunt from your uh, location, uh, that's cool. Just make sure you don't ever bid on each other's stuff because uh -huh. that ain't cool. And eBay yeah. will be like, mm -hmm. so I, I have logged into many friends and family members, uh, IDs when I'm helping with stuff because I find in, a lot of times it's just easier for me to log in and, and fix something for them than try and explain it. Although I like teaching, sometimes I got to get stuff done. But if I ever bid on my mom's stuff or she bid on mine, it would be horribly for both of us. So don't ever do that. It's cool. It's cool that you help somebody. That's cool. Yeah. Just don't screw yourself. All right. So let me look at what uh, we'll go to mom's seller hub and we'll go to growth. Okay. And we'll go to listing improvements. And you have 29 under performing listings. Yeah. Okay. I didn't have any of the ones like you did, right? No. Yeah. So that no, was a. No. All right. Let me find something. Uh, Anything interesting there? Hallmark Probably. 2017 Batman Justice League Christmas Tree Ornament Noon Box DC Comics. You have like, ooh, excuse me. You have a 54% less uh, chance to sell than your competitors. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. I'm perfect. Uh, sure. So let's take a look. Uh-huh. Because it's a pretty good one because there's four up there. So now we're seeing, oops, sorry. I didn't realize I wasn't on there. My bad, sorry. Okay, so here it is. There uh -huh. are four active listings ranging in price from $9.50 to 10 bucks, with sold listings of $9.99. So, Mom, you at $14.95, yep. you have went to the high end. Now, I do teach list it high and let it fly. But within that, some people t take that too literally. Mm -hmm. Like, if you're selling... Uh, yeah. If you're selling this handy dandy lemon lime juicer and the going rate's 10 bucks and you list it for a thousand dollars, okay, that's not what I'm talking about. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah. 
<laughs> oh, thank you, Diana, for loving my shirt. All yes. right. So let's let's look, let's relook more down here, Ma. Okay. Let me make this a little smaller now. And here's a little graph that you would think there'd be the little, but uh, they're showing you that one sold on December 11th for $9.99. Now, this is a little bit of a different one. Uh, it's a different Batman one, but still in the same vein. I can see by the picture it's a little bit different. Mm -hmm. Here's one that sold for $9.99 on January 1st, and here's one that sold for $9.99 on January 3rd. So Batman ornaments this year, 2017, seem to be going for about 10 bucks. Okay. But as you can see, yours is different than theirs. Uh huh. So you have it for fourteen ninety five. The other two that are up right now are nine ninety five and nine fifty. Oh, well, and look, there's more. Ten dollars, nine ninety five. No. Do they have shipping on theirs, Jason? That's what we're about to look at next. You have six dollars. Yeah. Uh, which this could probably go first class, right? Yeah, I don't know why the shipping's so high on that. All right, so we got someone selling it for ten for free shipping, free shipping, free shipping, variable, variable. That means they're doing uh, calculated free, free. Okay. You know, here's the here's the other thing too. I, I know you, some of your other things you got to fix are really cheap items. Yeah, y'all you know, can list cheap items. That's fine. If you're new and you want to build up feedback in your store, it's kind of one of the things I recommend. Sell a lot of ten dollar, eight dollar CDs. But you know, to catch a headache or a negative on a four dollar item really hurts a lot more than if you had to catch a negative on a hundred dollar item. Okay. That's how I feel. And so these people are selling ten dollar ornaments with free shipping. Well, it's going to be about three fifty to ship it plus your fees. Right. What do you What are you making? Two bucks? I know. Uh, well, wait, whatever you paid for, maybe you got it for free for Christmas. So maybe maybe make two bucks. Is it worth it to list an item to only generate two dollars of income? No, it isn't. It no. absolutely isn't. So. I would leave yours on this one. Maybe we'll dump, we'll drop it down by two bucks just to jazz okay. it up. Right. And uh, <laughs> all right. So the thing that Robin deleted. Uh, let's see here. Can I just block her now? Sorry about that. All uh, right. Yeah. Okay. Trying to advertise your show on my show. Get the heck out of here. You're insane. <laughs> uh, and then returns accepted. There were some no's, some yeses. Oh, wow. Uh, condition, new, new, new. So, uh, ooh, view more listing details. Let's see what that shows us. Okay. Listening impressions per day, listening page views per day, click through rate. So, yeah, you know, this is the kind of stuff that Teresa Cox gets like nerd level love over. So, you can uh -huh. go real deep. Now, all the thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drop you down by two bucks. Okay. And uh, click update, and that'll jazz it up a little bit. Now, of course, we're out of Christmas. Christmas stuff does sell all year, but uh, you know, if someone happens to be looking, it'll jazz it up a little bit. All right, so okay. let's look at one more thing before we hop into our segments. I'll tell you, here's something that's really old. Go back up to see that huge uh, calculator. That thing's been listed forever. Wait, wait a minute. You've had this puzzle for 694 days. Holy cow! <laughs> oh yeah, there's some old stuff in here. Very old stuff. All right, so this calculator right here. Oh no, that's a remote. That's a remote. Oh, oh, that's that. Oh, okay. That wasn't what I thought it was. Okay. But let's look at the remote. Yeah. Uh, and I like listening. All right. Let's see here. Jason, where can I see when I listed that? Where do you find the date? Does it show that somewhere? Uh, well, if you go to the, um, if you go to your listing, it'll yeah. say at the top. Uh -huh. uh, listed on January 17th, 1998. Okay. All right. So active listings. So there's no souls on this uh, giant uh, universal remote. Active mm -hmm. listings have it. At, uh, there's one person who's got it for 1988 with shipping included. You've got it for $22 with $7 shipping. Right. And so again, you know, they're not making a ton of money, but of course, you know, a, a slightly educated buyer would never buy yours at this point. Correct. Because you're charging uh, 20, uh, $10 more. Right. That's a lot. That is a whole lot. Yeah. Yeah. I think the reason I got the shipping on there, the, it wouldn't fit. It's, it's, it's really big. I, oh, I, think I know. So this person doing 1998, uh, well, it says variable shipping. So it's weird. So this is where you got to really pay attention up here. It says shipping included and down here. It says variable variable. So let's actually open their listing and see what it okay. says because you can click right through to this listing. So if you want to look at their listing, just click through. 
So you can, okay. And they're a top rated seller. So that, you know, also look, if you're going to compare apples to apples, if you got one thing and someone else's and you're, and you're doing this, if you go over and they've got like a feedback score of three and you know, they're, they're, they're cruddy, grimy little kids holding the item, you, mm -hmm. you are going to be a more professional, but this is a top rated seller. So you're going head to head with another good seller. Yeah. And which is weird. It says they have 971 economy shipping. So this That's is, true. this mm. is where that shipping and they have 10, 1090 expedited. So you're actually better than them. Huh? <laughs> but we're not getting any. No, any tickers. no. But again, here, let's jazz it up a little bit. Let's just bump it to 1999. Yeah, definitely. Let's take it down. Or, or 191 99 Yeah, wow. Why not? <laughs> Go for the gusto. <laughs> Listen, I let it fly. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good tip, Diana. Thank you. The date is accurate only if you never did a sell similar on the item. Otherwise, we'll show the last date and update it. And if you have a multi listing, so if you have three of the same t shirt, okay. those are your last one. But okay. for the most part, you know, all these things. For the most part are accurate so what i yeah. teach you is accurate but sometimes it might not look accurate like it said should be included for a competitor but it really wasn't so sometimes you got to do a little extra digging all right well, because mom does a lot of sell similar so that yep. might not be okay all right cool so there you go that's uh yeah, that's great uh, i expect you all to clean up your stuff now let's talk uh i'm coming to la i still got a few slots left in my class and if you were on the fence, I'm going to entice you because what is the biggest pain point for most eBay sellers? Mom, go. Say that again. What's the biggest headache? The most problems that sellers have, especially newer ones. Oh, man. How 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 much to price your item for? No, that isn't usually a problem. No. Um, I'll give you a clue. You don't do it. Oh, inventory. Nope. <laughs> But I'm working on inventory. I, I have started. I'll give you another clue. Big Daddy does it. Oh, pictures. No, come on. Are pictures tough? No. Well, oh, yeah. Sometimes when. <laughs> What's well, tough? Uh, the, the chat's got it. Well, shipping. Yay. Thank Yay. you. <laughs> <laughs> so I have just loaded up. Uh huh all the shipping supplies that you need to have in wow. your arsenal i'm bringing them to the class oh, we are, cool. i'm bringing supplies for everyone to fomo a tiki mug so those who haven't done it can do it right uh, and i'm going to show and this is only part of the class i'm going to show how to compare all the different boxes how to know when to use what how to franken box and make a box bigger and how to franken box and make a box smaller because that's well, that, franken box that, is the general term for both jason that's an excellent class i couldn't yeah. even watch you do that yeah. even though i don't shoot that much david said mixing my ties <laughs> <laughs> so uh here's here's what's happening the classes i have two classes you can take both or one or the other uh it's tuesday and wednesday uh, la the tuesday class is a four-hour classroom class so we're gonna sit and go soup to nuts a to z I'm going to start you off with over 50 bolos, things you should be hunting for. Most you've seen in the groups, but to have them concentrated right in front of you, nice and tight, makes it really good. Then we're going to go uh, how to take pictures, how to take quality pictures. I'm going to show you good and the bad. How to do a quality listing. How to use InkFrog for those who don't like listing on eBay. And all these things are going to be live demonstrations. So we're going to be taking pictures. We're going to be... Uh, listing on eBay, listing on InkFrog. I'm going to show you how to ship. Shipping is going to be a big thing. I'm going to show you how to use your phone in the field for all these different uh, apps that make your life easy in the field. And I'm going to show you uh, basically how to get paid, how to get your stuff up and sold. So it's a four-hour class. Uh, that leads uh, into, uh, I'm speaking at, I'm the guest speaker at the SoCal e-commerce meetup group. Is that going to be the same location? So that's a free, uh, that's free. Uh, uh, we'll be talking, uh, we'll be talking tiki mugs and, um, bring in, uh, six or seven different products, five examples of each product within those examples. There's one really good one, really bad one and three mediocre ones. But let me tell you right now, the one you think is good is probably the bad and vice versa. So we're going <laughs> to see how good your thrift eye is. Are you going to give them the test? <laughs> no. <laughs> give the test, I know. <laughs> so, uh, if anyone is interested or has someone that might be interested, there's still a few slots left. And oh, and then on Wednesday, we're taking the class into the thrift store and we're going section by section. Uh, my friend Kim, who's my girl Friday, she's going to be my co instructor that day. And what's nice when I have two instructors is she'll take you over to women's shoes. 
razzle dazzle you there while she's doing that i'll be in cds prepping them all get them ready so when you come back to me i've gone through the whole section we don't gotta waste time you watch me go through the whole section i've got the best and the worst pulled out teach you how to do it in the field and 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 hand out all the good ones to everybody in the class while i'm doing that kim will be prepping dresses i'll hand you off to kim then i'll be prepping plush and back and forth and that way there's no waste of time in the class mm -hmm. There was a, a, a question in the chat, honey. Are you? Will this be videoed so they can watch it later? No. No. Not when people are paying for this. No. Yeah. Exactly. And yeah. plus, these classes, you want to be there. They're hands on. Now, I'm traveling the country. So speaking of, a couple weeks after this, I'm going to be in uh, Kansas City speaking at the Reseller Fam Live event. If you uh, need some information about that, check out resellerfamlive.com. Uh, but the day before the event, I'm doing a thrift store class of what I just told you about doing a thrift store class the day before uh and i've been told by people who live in kansas city missouri that the thrift store i have chosen has a huge media section and people want to learn i have sold 700 dollars in cds in the last two weeks i've only sold like 30 cds so nice. my average rate on cds is pretty high right because right. i know what i'm doing and i can teach you how to do that so we and then dallas is being announced on tuesday so if you're in the dallas area and then we got St. Louis coming up. I'll be in Cleveland at some point. So I'll be all over the country. But right now, if you are, if you or someone you know who's doing this kind of stuff is in LA, Orange County area, or Kansas City, Missouri, drop me a note after the show's over. I'll get you hooked up with all the details. Got a couple spots left in each class. I think Eric said he lived in Pennsylvania. So Eric, um, if, when Jason comes to Cleveland, if you're not that far away in Pennsylvania, I would highly recommend you take a drive in. We'd love to meet you. That's for sure. We're in Kansas sense. City. I don't announce the thrift the the thrift store we're doing it uh, uh, until a couple days before. But I, if if you do sign up for the class, I will give you the general area. And here is why: because in the past, people have tried to show up and get a free class. It's a public store. I can't do nothing about it. Right. But it's, it is unfair to the people who have paid. Right. And Very so, want to come to Cleveland in June. <laughs> I, I will let you know. But right now, right this moment, is L.A., Orange County, and Kansas City, Missouri. And then right. Dallas is being announced on Tuesday. Now, speaking of Kim, if you're in the Secret Beach, her the guest webinar, which we call Typhoons, is next weekend. I will get the link up shortly, but it's going to be her purse speech from the boat with some new added content. So those of you in the Secret Beach, you have a purse webinar that will be teaching you all about collectible purses. So not Coach, not Gucci. <laughs> You got to jump through too many hoops for, hoops for those brands, it's, but if, it's really great. I mean, I saw it on the on our cruise, and uh, Kim did a fabulous job. I, I learned so much, you guys. So this this will be really worth watching. Now, uh, back up real quick. Unique, you resell. If you are in the Kansas City area, just message me on Facebook afterwards, and I'll, I'll be more than happy to fill you in on more details. Uh, you know, I don't hide it to be a jerk. I hide it because I, you know, the people who pay to be there deserve right. to get my full attention and not have two people trailing us for free. All right. Yeah, it's just not fair to those who've paid money, you know. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but uh, back to Kim real quick. If you've not ever heard of Enid Collins or Harl Taylor, if those two names mean nothing to you, I I'll even throw in Isabella Fiore. If those three names mean nothing to you, you're going to love this webinar because those are all purses that both Kim and I have sold uh, quite frequently and been selling them for a long time. But they're good money, and they're just things that aren't on a lot of people's radar. Yeah, I mean, it's really a good one, you guys. Don't miss it. Okay, now it's time for our one segment before we get into Mom's Hall and uh, Scores. Mama's Boy, I went a little older this year. I've been showing some baby oh. things, some kid things. Oh. This is mid-90s. I, I pulled this one out for a couple of reasons. My hair and my lack of facial hair. Oh, okay. <laughs> so here we are. Oh, boy. <laughs> so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to quiz the chat. we got 102 viewers right now. This is a band. Does anyone know what band this is? Well, so, it's definitely out of mom's. Uh... Yeah. So while while I'm waiting to see if anyone answers, uh, this is a hard band, and I'm I'm wearing my Big Peckers University from uh, Ocean City, Maryland. Uh, that was my most <laughs> rock and roll shirt to go meet the band. What? <laughs> I probably uh, bought you that shirt. Good guess, bearded picker, Kitty. Nope, Kitty oh. is younger. These are older. So I got receding hairline, blonde, big hair. I do have hoop earrings in. Oh. Uh, I have a little fuzz on my chin, and I got the 90s metal necklace. <laughs> I love the blonde oh, hair. Oh, boom. Andrew gets it. L7. Well oh, done, Andrew. God, who is L7? <laughs> you can't tell because it's a little fuzzy because it's a copy of a picture. But yeah. the chick with the blue hair is rocking her hand like this because she found... 
uh, two seven rings, like number seven. So she just uh, flipped one upside down. So she's got L7 on her hand. Is anybody else with me about L7? Am I the only one? <laughs> Loved L7. All right, let's get to your scores, mama. Hey, okay, all right, honey. <laughs> Good God. Oh, yeah, this I just sold this uh, Sailor Jerry t-shirt and uh, for full price. And I did pay two bucks for the t-shirt and uh, sold that for $24.99. You know, Jason, I was going to, I had a couple of, little small Sailor Jerry items I was going to throw in with it, but then I never went back to retake the picture before I sold it. You know, like you do. I know you add some things sometimes, but you know, it's yeah, sold. No, it's good. Hey, 25 bucks. That's a good yeah. shirt. Oh, I know. That's what I thought too. Yeah. Oh, have, have I showed it on this show? My new tattoo? Oh, I don't, maybe not. Pirate ship sitting out of skull and crossbones. It'll be colored in next month, but man, way up here. That sucks. <laughs> but here's what's cool. Dirk, my tattoo artist, who's somewhat worldly famous, drew this 20 years ago and never used it on anybody. So wow. I'm the one and only. Well, isn't that nice? Isn't that cool? cool. Yeah. Oh, okay. right. I, have, I have a few uh, comrades in the chat room that don't know who L7 is either. Oh, I'm sure. They weren't a huge band, but I, you know, I liked them. <laughs> uh, this is something that I've had for sale forever. You know, one of those deals. I think, I think somebody might have even given it to me as a gift. And I just, uh, you know decided to put it up for sale and it finally has sold so that was yeah. you know it's one that's, of those old time things you know yeah, I mean? that's crappy tiki stuff but hey it sold so right it, it, right, yeah. right so that's why yeah. that's why it was up for sale after all that okay. oops, oops, sorry i didn't realize i wasn't yeah, that's right what do we got next uh i think you sold a present a present can i give this to dad well if you did it didn't fit Okay. Yeah, I am. I am like ninety nine percent sure I yeah. gave that to Dad. So when oh, I was looking at this yesterday, I'm like, man, stole my present. Twenty bucks. Come on now. Are you sure you gave that to Dad? I, I like I said, I'm like ninety nine percent sure I gave it to Dad. Okay. Are you? Yeah, but because uh, he, he, in fact, a couple that he put on, you know, the buttons. It was it was just too tight, probably because it'd be more vintage, and uh, so we threw it up for sale. And, and and I just put it up for sale too, and I got an offer of uh, twenty bucks. I even asked Dad. He says, oh, go ahead and take it. So I took it. So thank you for the freebie, Jason. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, honey. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. What do we got next? Oh, does that? Oh, oh I, I should have had your kill. Yeah. I, I, as I was scrolling, I should have. Yeah. Yeah. Because if anybody in the chat would have known what that was. At, at one point, uh, a lot of you know, I did con uh, collect antiques well, for years and years and years. This is an antique a cranberry scoop that they used back in the day. And uh, I've had it listed for a little while, and you know, I finally got the offer of the thirty-eight. So I, you know, decided to go ahead and take that. I mean, antique primitives don't sell like they used to. Back a number of years ago, they they were hot commodities. I mean, you you got really big money for your your primitive antiques. Not so much today. So you know, to me, that was a decent offer, and I said, okay, let it let it fly. So I did. Jersey Jane said, "Cold hard cash better than regifted." Yeah, true. I guess. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> uh, I was just a little, a little sad, a little tear. You know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, gee, guess what? Mom sold. Woohoo! <laughs> you know, I, I I really think Jason, mom needs to do a, a webinar on, on buyers carolers. I've had a lot of people, you know, message me and say, "Is this buyers? What <laughs> or not?" You know? <laughs> All right. Well, uh, there you go. Yeah. Those of you in the Seeker Beach, we will have a buyers caroler webinar. Yeah. Uh, earlier than later so that way you can start hunting all year for next year for next holiday right, season right. and like i said uh, i've been selling some something every week of buyers everyone uh this happens to be the gingerbread vendor uh so it is a two-piece uh and i had them up for that price and sold them for that price um you know i'll be glad to talk more in depth as we go down the road about pricing and so forth i think that's the biggest question i get from all of you that you know find these uh on how, how to price them and the prices are are all over the place just depending on you know, years and what they are and so forth. So a lot, lot of variables on the pricing part, but um, yeah, I continue to sell my buyers. Soon I won't have any left, Jace. I know. And they've been a very good source of, of income for mom. I've, you know, I've sold so many. Okay, this was a, a hat and, you know, our own Julie Brown uh, at our last Ohio meetup uh, talked all about hats and it must've been the magic trick. I think Julie or Chris was in the chat. In fact, we're gonna see them tonight at the Luau. But uh, we picked up this hat for a dollar and uh, got a 1995 on it. So that was that was very nice. Hats to always do well. Dad, Dad did, did do a little more angling there. I think it should have been turned maybe just a little more. What do you think? Uh, that was good. It, show, it shows the brim. Yeah. Okay. Wasn't, you know, I, I tried to get him to that. 
Um, this peanuts robe, I think I, I think I should have held out uh, for the full price on this because, <laughs> of course, it sold. And then I just got a, a message from someone. Is that robe still for sale? Could you relist that? So maybe I jumped the gun on this one. But, is it, you know, I was going through my death piles this winter, and that was in the death pile. And I've had it forever. Uh, back in the, it was marked, I bought it for 50 cents, you guys. So I guess $15 wasn't awful, but I think I probably could have gotten some more money on that one. You know? Okay. And Cleveland Indians, uh, it doesn't have Chief Wahoo on it, but we're going into baseball season. And so I've had this person up for a while, you know, nothing that I just recently put up, uh, paid a dollar for it and um, took the offer of 15 just because it had been up for a while. So, See, I don't think it was a legit Cleveland Indians product. <laughs> it might not be. It might not be, honey. Yeah, I, I don't see because you would see some MLB markings on it too. Yeah. So right. you're, you're lucky. You're, oops, you're lucky I mean, it's gone. <laughs> I'm lucky I got the 15 out of it. Yes. I yeah. Total yeah. back. <laughs> oh, and I, I wanted to talk. This is my last coach scarf, everyone. I, I think if you have been following me on the show, I, I think I've sold one almost every week and, and three last week. Uh, this is the last one. So my total investment on the scarves that I purchased was $36. And I turned around and turned that into $185. So that was nice. a really, yeah. So I highly recommend always look out for coach scarves because, you know, coach is supposed to be changing their name, Jason. So I think that that might even put more value on these scarves as, as the time goes by. Yeah. Cool this one, yeah and I sold another scarf. Uh, silk scarves have been doing pretty good for mom. Uh, this is a Paloma Picasso silk scarf. And it had the Zodiac sign on it, and I got an offer of uh, the 20 bucks, and I did pay a dollar for that. Okay. And last, but definitely yeah. not least. Yeah, I wanted to. I put this in, guys. Uh, I showed this just last week, as, as most of you know, that if you watched. Uh, I sold this for a friend of mine at, uh, from Jazzercise, and this is a uh, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame uh Pins. Those are actually pins that you you know you could pin on your your lapel or whatever. But it was for the different years of the inductees into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And uh, I listed it for one ninety nine, as you can see. And I did get the offer of the one seventy four ninety nine. So I called my girlfriend, and she said, "Yeah, Peg, go ahead and sell it," because she originally paid fifteen dollars for it. So you know, off it went. Um, but you know, I don't know how many of you sell for other people out there. Uh, I've done it a few times for my friends and. Um, you know, out of this deal, I, I charge 25% for, for doing it. And uh, so I, I made 45 bucks just by a quick, easy listing. So, you know, to me, that that's worth it. I mean, what the heck, you know? So, yeah, that was a pretty nice piece, though, Jason. I thought you might want that, but I guess you didn't. <laughs> yeah, it's cool, though. I mean, it's definitely cool. Yeah, for sure. For sure, honey. And I think that was the last item, wasn't it? That was it. So yeah. we're on to what you found. Yeah, let's right. see what you found. Good, good score. Okay. Oops, right. I, 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 I have not been outsourcing much. My brother's been so crummy that I, you know, just you just hate venturing out. But I did get out last week uh, for a day, uh, and so that wasn't so bad. Um, I'll start with this. I'll let, bring myself up on the screen so I can see my pictures and make sure I'm getting them centered for you guys. If you don't even know, First Castle, San Simeon, California. Yeah. This is a bamboo tray I just picked up the other day for a buck. And uh, I want to put this up for 20 bucks, everybody. You know, trays, have, I've always done pretty well with trays. So, you know, that that uh, was that. And I found the Nick and Nora owl nightgown, shorty nightgown. Oh, nice. Yeah, I've always found the pajamas. I think this is the first time I ever found the, uh, the nightgown. And this is a size, uh, it's a little one, though, I think, if I recall. Yeah, what do we have here? I don't know, it's a 2XL. There you go. Yeah, 2X. So don't forget, if anybody wants anything, just give me a holler. Now, these next two items, Jace. Oh, yeah. yeah everything every time you see me do a haul or mom do a haul. Right. You uh, as you know, the uh, vintage nylon jogging suits, they're uh, they're getting, <laughs> they're getting some really good money on me. So this is a purple set. Love the jacket. Can you see the colors in this? Let me turn it around. Yeah, some, some like Goldberg would wear on the Goldbergs. Yeah, yeah. So this is... This particular brand name is Slade, which is one I'm not familiar with, but the, I, I did my research and found that, you know, these are listed. I paid $9.50 for these, you guys. And these are, you can get between 60 to 100 bucks on your uh, nylon jogging suits, just depending. I think because the colors are so pretty on this, you know, I'll probably shoot for the higher price on that one. And then if that one wasn't enough, and, and they, these were not in the same section. Uh, one had been moved. This, these are uh, from Savers. And one had been moved over to another section, like it was being hidden, you know, one of those. So this is in green. 
Okay, and this is kind of, uh, uh, I like the, 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 uh, the jacket on this, Jason. It's got a little more detailing. Oh, look at that. Uh, look at that fun design. No, that's cool. And uh, you've you got the color in the sleeves. And I paid about, well, see, this one was a whole dollar more, so about $10.50 on this. So I am probably going to list these between 75 and 100 bucks nice. on those, yeah. And let's see what we have. Do the jackets have shoulder pads in them? Oh, yeah, they do. <laughs> yeah. And what do we got here? What do we got here? Oh, this is a Nick and Nora brand new with tags still. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's just the bottom, but they're they're a cute print. I've never seen this print. Oh, yeah. but... I, I, I sell I sell tops and just and yeah. or just bottoms all the time. <clears throat> it's a, these are two XL, everyone, and I paid a dollar for those. And they're I guess they're I guess they're alligators. Yeah, they're alligators. I thought maybe they were frogs, but I think they're alligators, right? Yeah. So well, uh, well I thought I saw a frog sitting on a toadstool. Yeah, well, oh yeah, I think well, I don't know, Jace. No, I think that's an alligator on the toadstool, isn't it? Mm, no? no, those are frogs. Those are frogs. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. All right, frogs. Um, okay, I need a. Uh, this is the chat. I, w I want you to get. Tell me what this is. Hello, come in chat. Okay, come in chat. Mm. Okay, can everybody see that? Well, you know, the head part doesn't matter. It has an opening here. A little, little swinging. Uh, mm -hmm. A little swinging house for a cat. Jason, do you know what this is? No, so I'm guessing. <laughs> oh, okay. No, let me see. I'm looking in the chat. Okay, I know they're behind us a little bit. Well, Ken's funny. He says it's a bunny. Yeah, we. Oh, 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 oh hey. What, what went? What would go in here? Anybody? Right, here? Toach, you just took down my whole light setup, buddy. No. Oh, yeah. Oh, I got it. Got an answer. Ding, 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 ding. Yes, this held diapers. Everybody. Oh wow. Yeah, and I used to have one actually when you kids were little, Jason, because I used cloth diapers back in the day. And uh, so I picked this up for 50 cents, and I think I'm probably going to list this for about 25 bucks. So it's a nice old one, and it's, it's cute, and it's in nice condition. So there's that. And then because of Kim's purse webinar, I'm always looking at purses now, and I found this cute little, like, oh, yeah. like, a, like a spool of thread type thing. It looks like we'll, it's we'll pretty see. It's we'll see the end. It's, it's metal. See here? Here's the other side. Very cool. I know. I mean, it's in really nice shape. I, I, I'll bet it was never carried. And just, you know, just metal inside. But I paid a dollar. And I'm going to list this one for 25 bucks, I think, Jay. Give that yeah, very cool. Money. Yeah. But isn't that cute and different? I like that. I'm not sure about these, but I went to a church rummage sale, and they had these uh, Star Wars slippers. Oh, cool. Darth Vader. But, you know, since it's, since it's out there so much, I only paid a buck for these. So I'm going to try and list them around 15. Well, so the new Han Solo movie's coming out very soon. So Yeah. In fact, Dad's taking the pictures already. So I will get up there and do that real quick. Um, just because of, uh, again, but for Julie Brown, you know, I'm always picking up hats. This was a nice uh, Ohio State University one. So uh, I picked that up for a quarter. Oh, hey, yeah, a quarter. And I'll probably list that for around 15, 20 bucks on the hat. Okay. Then... This was also at the church woman's sale. Look at this, JT. Brand oh, wow. A four set of service. I know. I mean, they're so cute. I'm almost tempted to keep them myself, but <laughs> I will put them up uh, for sale. I paid $3 for the set, guys. And, you know, Jason, I know you sold some service. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm thinking $29. Am I out of line with Well, that? have you looked up what a four pack sells for in the box? Yeah, $34. All right, so why go, why go lower? Well, I, 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 now, I wasn't. Is it, four, is it four different fish or just two? Let me see the other side. No, no, four different. They're all different. All right, because that, that's your key words. You got the huma huma and whatever else is in there. Yeah. So, yeah, I would definitely go more than, uh, I would okay. go like $39.99. $39.99. Okay. Mom will do that. And then at our, our restore, which is right around the corner from us, these two were just sitting on the shelf. And I'm going to list these together, Jay. Oh, cute. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, uh, I paid a buck for both of them. So when you do singles, Jason, how, how do you do your pricing? Well, it depends on, you know, just like we did the analysis of your listings, you know, okay. so if I'm buying, if I'm selling a Jimmy Buffett one, I'm looking for what other Buffett ones selling. I'm also okay. looking to use good keywords. So you're going to have Flamingo and Sunset and Island and, you know, yeah. you know uh, Beach. And, and so just kind of compare 
compare, make sure you're comparing apples to apples. Don't compare a turvis tumbler of uh, the Oregon Ducks with okay. a Jimmy Buffett one. You know, you got to make sure that it's kind of in the same vein. Right. So, so in other words, I put in flamingo or tropical or something and then see what, what, what's going there. Okay. Yeah. It's All like right. if, you're, uh, if, if you were selling a car, uh, a Chevette, you would not be looking at Corvette prices. You know, no. same thing. Yeah. I uh, picked up this uh, little teddy bear uh, just because he's got Chief Wahoo on it. And as we all know, Chief Wahoo is uh, being phased out. And yeah. Um, so, yeah, so I've been picking up, you know, little items that I think will still sell. And he was a quarter guy. So I'll probably list him for around 15 bucks on that. Okay. And then. Found this in metal. Is it a, is it a lap t uh, TV tray? Uh, yep, it is a lap one. Okay, and it's in decent shape. I mean, not perfect, you know, but uh, mom paid. Let's look. Let's see what I have here. TV tray, I paid $2.40 because it was on sale. And I'm going to list this guy for uh, 20 bucks on that. Okay. Cool. All right. Then, Jason, oops, I got to reach over here to get it. I'm not quite sure how to how what to do here. Th these are tins, okay, and it's, it's pretty cool tin. It, it, as you can see, it's like you know the old clapboard that they use for the movies. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then, so not, make sure I do this right. Okay, to get the lid open, you have to slide it back and then open, and it's just that. Now I, I bought ten of these for three bucks. With the Oscars around the corner, you know, Mom's thinking that right around the corner, so get them up. I know. I've I, I got. I, that's on my to do for today. I've got 10. Would you list them all together or do a, yep, you know, yep, I would just do a multi quantity listing of 10 of 10. Okay. All right. 10 available. And, 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 yeah, and I'm not that's something you don't, you don't need to be pretending it's rare. You got one left. Cause you want to sell 10 of them to people who want to use them for their Oscar party. Okay. So, so list the one for the one price or list all 10 for one price. No list a quantity of 10 at whatever price you're selling at. So there's some for 20 bucks It's 20 bucks, 10. But you want to buy more than one. They can buy more than one. Got it. Okay. So that's what I plan on doing. Um, just, you know, like I say, time is limited and, and it's it's right around the corner. But, I, I you know, I just thought that, that was really unique. So my, And uh, I'll answer a question in the chat. Yeah. Can you call them Turvis if not branded? Heck no. <laughs> if it's not branded Turvis, right. that's just right. like saying this generic purchase coach. No, no, no. Oh, eBay doesn't like that. The brand owner doesn't like that. Your customer won't like that. Um, I actually FaceTime Jason on this one because it was, uh, this is a, Johnny Mathis box set of uh, four different CDs in here that I did pay. Oh, Jason, I did end up getting 20% off on this, by the way. Oh, all right, yeah. cool. So that helped. And uh, it's got the, you know, the nice booklet in here. And then four different CDs of Johnny Mathis. Only one has been opened. The other three are still sealed. So oh, someone um, played one Johnny Mathis CD and said, nope, not for me. <laughs> <laughs> I have a girlfriend who just loves Johnny Mathis. So if for some reason it doesn't sell and it's still here in October when it's her birthday, she might get this as a present. So like I said, I did pay, uh, by the time the smoke cleared, I paid six bucks for this. And uh, I think I'm going to try around 35, 40 bucks, Jace, from what I can see, you know, on, on mom's research. Okay. I've got two items left. And um, I was over at, at our restore, which I, I said is around the corner from us. And I just happened to see, I'm gonna, I've got three of these, you guys, and I'm going to bring them out one at a time. <clears throat> and we bought it as a three-piece set, okay, and it's a canister set. And is anybody familiar with the name of Horchow made and made in Italy? Mm -mm. Okay, I wasn't either. Oops, no, okay. I was down. Sorry about that. No, I'm still upside down. Wait a minute, where am I? No, you're good. Just, no, yeah, no, now you're upside down. Now yeah. you're upside down. Upside down. There you oh, go. I said backwards. That's right, I'm backwards. Anyways, okay, so I want you guys to take a look at these. I had no clue, you know. But they just look interesting to mom. And here's the other one. You know, they keep getting bigger. Okay. And they're all marked on the bottom. And here's the last one. Okay. Now, in the research that we just did, um, the big one was is it not sold, but listed at 125. The middle size one was listed at 114, and the small one is listed at 99. For the three pieces, I paid $14. I was going to say $0.37, cents, but okay, $14. Yeah, I did pay a little bit more. And um, so, you know, I, I'm, I mean, I don't know if I should list them separately as the full set. I think the full set because it looks so nice as the set. Um, but, you know, if, if they are talking that kind of money, 
Will people want to spend that much or am I better off listing them individually? Any suggestions there? Well, you know, it's one of those things where I'd probably list it as a set first and with a really crazy high amount on it. And then if it sits for a while, maybe break it down into each individual. Yeah. I mean, they just look cool to mom and, and, you know, and, oh, and the other ones that are listed for that kind of money, Jace, they have chips in them. They have crazy. And these are in gorgeous condition. Oh, yeah. All right. Then, yeah, I would definitely yeah. make, and make sure before you even list them that you've got the right box, the right packing material. Okay. Because, yep. uh, 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 the the sandbar I'm going to be doing in the Secret Beach on Monday is going to have to do with pushing you to go pick the biggest thing you've thrifted that you haven't listed yet because you don't want to deal with it. So I yeah. got plenty of that. So that's what we're going to do on Monday. Um, let's see. I got two more. Actually, two more items left. That's, I picked up this fan at the uh, rummage sale. I guess you pronounce that tinkling. Tinkling? I'm not quite sure. From the Philippines. It's an older one, and the fan cost me 25 cents. And I'm listing this for 35 bucks, you guys. Uh, these are older ones, and they're uh, they're worth some money. So I'll let you know how I make out on that. Now I am going to show you an item that I think this is the most money I have ever spent on an item to resell. I think I, I'm I'm trying to rack my brain. What? That's this. So <laughs> I'm not too sure. But at this church rummage sale, they had this beautiful Pendleton blanket. Whoa. Yeah. And it's still got the tag on it, guys. So it's, I, I guess, new with tag. It's a bigger one. It's a, a six, let's see what, 64 by 80. So it's a good size. Uh, it's uh, The name of it is called Chief Joseph Robe. So that's all on here. And it also came in the original box. So I've got the original box as well. Now they had it marked for 75. I tried to get it at 40 and 50 and that just didn't work. And we settled at $65. But uh, as you know, these get, you know, get you some big money and the design on this is gorgeous. You guys, when it's all open, it's just beautiful. So I, I just listed it for $199.99, Jason. So we'll see, honey, how, uh, how I do on the blanket. So that Heather said he must have left the quarters at home this week. <laughs> yeah, like I said, that's the most mom has ever spent on anything. So, uh, you know, I was a little nervous, but, you know, some of those prints, are they just sell. I mean, you know, they they really do. So we'll keep my fingers crossed that, you know, mom picked a good one. And I think, no, no, actually, I have one thing to show Jason. <laughs> South Pacific in combination with Oklahoma and. It's a CD. Do you have that one, honey? In carousel? Nope. <laughs> well, yeah. So I, I got that just because of the South Pacific stuff in the background. So that'll go in, in mom's collection. There you go. And I think that's it. $65. Peggy, have you, have you lost your mind? <laughs> <laughs> I know. It, it is a little scary. But like I say, uh, I'm hoping uh, hoping to get around the 200 mark. So a lot of them that are very similar to the one that I have are two and a quarter, 250. So I thought I'd shoot for the one ninety nine and uh, and see what happens. So I will keep you posted on that, everybody. Awesome. Yeah. All so right. I, so you leave tomorrow. I leave Monday, everybody. Monday. So, uh, yeah. In fact, I, I see that Julie and Chris Brown are in the chat. I will be seeing them this evening at the Luau at Tiki Underground. Where we is it a week at. cruise? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's a five nighter uh, like ours. So we're spending the the uh, uh, Monday in Miami Beach. We're going to Mangos which looks like a real rocking place for dinner and, and, uh, and the show on Monday night. And then our cruise pulls out uh, Tuesday afternoon. So when do you five. come back? Uh, Sunday. Well, I, I, yeah, our, our, our ship gets in Sunday morning and then we come home Sunday. So we won't have a show next weekend. Right. All right. So the week after that, we'll be talking about the difference between and what you should be doing between one day handling and same day handling. So that's what yeah. we'll talk about. Cool. Yeah. So uh, in, in the meantime, Thursday night, uh, Thrifty Business, uh, is normal 9 p.m. on the mm -hmm. East Coast, 6 p.m. on the West Coast, and we're going to have rethreaded. Uh, rethreaded are uh, a guy and a girl that take thrift store clothes and make them into new badass clothes. Oh, wow! So that you and I and everyone watching might see like pff, I ain't picking that up. They see it differently. They right. see it with like a Terminator filter on, like doo -doo 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 -doo. yeah. Oh, wow. that distress jacket isn't distressed to the point of not unusable. We're just going to do this to it and make it even cooler. So, and, and they're younger. You know, we uh, we're older. Mom's way older. They're younger. So hey, we're, hey. don't be picking on mom. We're going to listen to the uh, millennials talk about how they see a thrift store and what they do. So that's going to be a real cool show. Something totally different than everything we've ever done. So make sure to uh, 
tune in for that. <clears throat> like I said, uh, classes in LA Tuesday, Wednesday, and then Kansas City, Missouri in a couple of weeks. So if you've got any questions, feel free to hit me up on Facebook or even drop me an email. One person wasn't on Facebook, but they're on YouTube and not Facebook. So my yeah. email is tikipug at gmail.com, T-I-K-I-P-U-G at gmail.com. And I can answer all your questions there. So that's yeah. good. That's uh, it. I, I just want to say again, Jason, thank you for the lesson today. Mom really needed that one. And uh, I, I'm going to put it to good use as soon as we're done here. Oh, good. Because I want to go in and make those changes and, and get up to date with that. Because half the time, I, whenever mom would get that email, I'd look at it, I'd open it up, and I'm going, okay, now what do I do? I'll, I click on the first one, and I, I totally got lost. You know, mom did try, but to no avail. And thank you, everybody, for your well wishes in the chat. Looking forward to this cruise. Uh, this is, like I said, an all girl cruise. So be a little bit different and, uh, you know, should be just as fun, if not more fun, because you know how girls trips can be, those of you who have done them. <laughs> and then last but not least, if you liked what you saw, give us a thumbs up over there. If you didn't like what you saw, really tell us, give us a thumbs down twice. and That'll really tell us you didn't like it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And then uh, do me a huge favor and mom, a huge favor. If you like what you see and you have friends in your network that like thrifting and eBay and stuff like that, please feel feel free to share the link to the show at any of my shows or, or just my channel in general and right. uh, invite your friends over to come watch us because, you know, we have a good time and we give a lot of good content out. So right. that's also, all I got to say about that. Any of you in the Ohio area nearby, we have our Ohio meetup group now, which I can't rave enough about. I tell you, we've got so much knowledge in this group. It's fabulous. We meet on the second Saturday of every month at Cheeky Underground in Hudson, Ohio. And so if anybody needs more information about that, look us up on Facebook or let me know. Cool. That's it. We're out of here. So from selling past your expiration date, being thrifty over 50, I'm Jay. I'm Peg. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for watching. See you yep. in a couple weeks. And we're gone. Bye-bye.